Hey, good morning. Good morning on this beautiful Wednesday morning here in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, I'm Pastor Randy Scott with a little bite of God's word this morning. And uh, still tidbits, but uh, just figured I'd change something up a little bit. And as people join uh, this morning, uh, uh, it'd be good to see everybody. Uh, I don't know if I'm late or not. Uh, uh, but anyhow, here we are. And uh, just to get a little bit of God's word, uh, get some word of encouragement through tough times. And uh, but I want to, you know, do something a little bit different. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you see the ribbon going, uh, the company we will be in. Wow. You know, if you uh, are, are born again, blood bought believer, one day we are going to be in the company of some awesome people. Can you imagine that? Now, again, I don't know what heaven's going to be like. I, I can't imagine. I, you know, we can talk about how glorious, how wonderful it's going to be. Streets. A, a pure gold, so so pure, it's transparent. Uh, uh, I mean, my goodness, don't need any moon or sun. The, the Lord is going to be the sun, the moon, the, everything that we need. Uh, uh, you know, we just cannot imagine. But if you do let your imagination go wild, you know, just can, can you imagine the people we're going to be with? Now, again, some of us, you know, say, oh, wow, we're going to be with family again. We're going to be with uh, mom and dad again, or going to be with grandma and grandpa again, or those kind of people. But I'm talking about the people that we preach and teach about is what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, just reading through scripture again in Hebrews 11, and I'm going to read just a couple of verses, uh, but I'm going to mention names that I'm not going to mention in these verses, but Abraham, Moses, think about that. Uh, uh, and we're going to be hanging with those guys, you know, praising the Lord and and uh, they're not going to be probably treated any better than us. You know, the first to be last and last to be first, the word of God says. And uh, isn't that incredible? Do you ever think about that? You know, we're, we're promised this glory, uh, glorified bodies. These new bodies are going to be changed. These bodies here can't go into heaven. Uh, but we're going to be getting uh, given glorified bodies like Jesus, you know, joint heirs. And uh, man, just think of all the things that we get. And, you know, and people are thinking, oh, I got to give up so much. And, you know, uh, uh, this world is, uh, uh, you know, offering so much. It's really not offering anything. Everything in the world offers is temporary. What Jesus offers is eternal. OK, uh, but again, just bringing it back to who we're going to be in company with. OK, that is what's incredible to me. As I was reading through again, uh, and uh, I don't even mind repeating myself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just get, I just started getting pumped up over this. That man, I'm going to be able to meet uh, these heroes of the faith. They're called, uh, uh, you know, Moses, Abraham, uh, uh, Jacob, uh, Isaac. You know, all these guys we preached about and talked about and used as examples about. Man, we're going to be able to sit down and chat with them, Adam. <laughs> you know, I've always teased everybody about. Uh, uh, man, uh, one day I got, uh, I'd like to have words with Adam, you know, man, he messed up in the beginning, made us have to work so hard for everything. And, and, uh, uh, but you know, th that's just jesting and, uh, uh, you know, certainly don't want to jest too much about that. But again, uh, just let your imagination go wild this morning and just imagine when you're reading through scripture, wow, Peter and Paul and James and John, and, you know, all these folks, uh, uh, Mary Magdalene and, uh, you know, could go on and on. The widow uh, with the widow's mites, uh, you know, and my goodness, we could just be naming heroes of the faith all day long and, and we're going to be in their company. And again, but you know what? That's not what's going to matter. I don't think when we come into their company, we're going to be asking for autographs. OK, but, you know, but think about that. You know, we'll be coming into the uh, into the presence of the Lord and look at the company that we'll be in. Wow. And then again, you know, we're part of that sainthood. We're part of that sainthood. If you're a blood-bought believer, you're part of that sainthood. And uh, it just makes it incredible. And uh, let me get some good mornings in here. Dina, good morning. Nora, good to see you. Uh, uh, someone, let's see. Good morning, Pastor Randy. Facebook user. Uh, that's all I'm getting. Sometimes I don't know why it does that. But uh, good morning back to you. Thank you, Fran. Uh, it's good to see you uh, this morning. Uh, but uh, the company we will be in, you know, and again, ultimately, guess what? We're going to be in the presence and the company of the Lord physically, spiritually, however that uh, plays out. Uh, uh, you know, again, if we're getting new bodies, these tra uh, these transformed bodies, glorified bodies, obviously, we, uh, you know, we will have a body. Uh, but just think we're going to be in the presence of the Lord, in the presence of the Lord. And, but if you don't know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you're going to be in the presence of Satan. 
in a place of torment where he's going to be being tormented also. Okay, when Jesus comes to finish the task and finishes everything up, he's going to be cast in to the lake of fire also. Okay, the Antichrist, everybody, they're going to be cast in, and there's going to be a wailing and gnashing of teeth. And the Bible teaches that if your name's not written in the Lamb's book of life, okay, you're going to be cast out. I don't want you cast out. I want you to be with me. I want you to be in the same company, the same company of believers. Uh, so if you don't know, if you're doubting uh, uh, Jesus uh, as Lord and Savior, take him today as your Savior. Okay, get that guarantee of eternal life with him. Uh, uh, and get away from that uh, that torment. And don't ever believe the lie that that we're living in hell right now. You know, I've heard people say that. Well, this is hell we're, we're in right now. Ain't wrong answer. No way. Uh, no way are we in torment. Guess what? I get to go in my house, turn the heat on if I need it, turn the air conditioning on if I need it, turn on the music I want to listen to, all those kind of things. And, and I let my imagination go wild there. You know, uh, uh, you're in a place called hell. You're probably going to have an air conditioner, but it ain't going to work. Uh, you know, uh, it's going to be there to, just to, as a teaser. And, uh, you know, and again, I don't want to play off, off lightly. Hell is not a good place. It's going to be a place of torment continually, continually, continually. That's not the company you want to be in. The company you want to be in is with all these heroes of the, the scriptures, all these heroes of faith that we want to be in. Hey, Brian is the Facebook user. Good morning to you, brother. <laughs> I love it. Uh, so think about that. Think about that. Let's go to Hebrews. I'm going to read verses 32 through 34 and, uh, uh, and just read. And it's going to be sharing some different names. Uh, uh, but again, these are heroes of the faith. And uh, But uh, just wanted us to think about that. Uh, man, uh, we're coming into this glorious place with the Lord. Uh, but man, we're going to be with all these folks that, that we've taught about and been taught about and learned about and, and, uh, and uh, the things they did and, and uh, the accomplishments they, they had with the Lord and the faith that they exhibited. You know, and again, we're coming into that same thing. Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? That's what should be my title from now on. Can you just imagine? Wrap your head around that. Hebrews chapter 11, starting at verse 32. And what more shall I say? For the time would fail me to tell you about what Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, uh, all, Jephthah uh, and also David and Samuel and the prophets, who through faith subdued kingdoms, worked righteousness, attained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, became valiant in battle, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. And we know there are going to be many other heroes of the faith that uh, gave their lives, just ultimately gave their lives, sacrificed uh, others. Let's go ahead and read on. And I know I'm reading this again. Women received their dead back to life, verse 35. Uh, uh, others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. Still others having trials of mocking, scourging, yes, and of chains and imprisonment. Wow. All of those are heroes of the faith. All of those folks. And, uh, you know, you just can imagine sitting down, hearing the stories for real firsthand. And uh, again, you know, it's for real here. We got the word of God. It's true. It's living. It's alive. It's here. But imagine sitting down with those folks, you know. And, and maybe just uh, hearing them tell it, uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just off on a tangent here. But, uh, folks, the company we would be in, wow, just think. It just gets better and better and better. If you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior, today is the day of salvation. Okay, don't wait another day. Don't wait another moment. Take Jesus as Savior. Believe with your whole heart, your inner self. Surrender all to him. You won't be disappointed. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We bless you. Lord, we thank you for the promises that you've made to us through salvation in you, for knowing you, loving you, for you knowing us and loving us. And Father, the things you've promised us and the folks that we'll probably see. And you know what? It might not even matter, Lord. I don't, I don't know. But you know, our imagination could be drawn to such a place that we just are looking so forward to that glorious, being in that glorious presence. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We bless you. This is a day you've made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you, Lord, for loving us so much. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys. As always, don't stress. Give God the mess. He'll take care of the rest. And we'll see you tomorrow morning for some more morning tidbits. And let your imagination go wild. The company we will be in. Woo! Awesome. Bye-bye.